Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button because you'll find new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration here every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I found some really cute new things in the Dollar Tree Easter section. So we're gonna start out the spring decorating season with three farmhouse style Easter garlands. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's start with the plastic egg garland first. I have two sets of Dollar Tree's speckled eggs, as well as their white string. And then I have a large needle, big enough to where I can feed my string through the eye of the needle. Then I have an assortment of wooden beads. I will put this down in my Amazon favorite store. I've used these for several different projects, so it's always nice to have these on hand. I love them. I love that these come in different sizes. We're gonna use a couple sizes for this project. And then I also have a wood burning tool with a pointy tip on the end. I'll also put this down in my Amazon favorite store. They are really, really inexpensive. And another tool to kind of have on hand. They come in really handy. And here's another tip. I always suggest throwing it into a coffee mug because it's not gonna burn the mug and it's a lot more safe than the little dinky metal stand that the wood burner comes with. But the first thing I'm gonna do is unpackage my eggs and then I'm going to use my wood burning tool to pop a hole into both sides of the egg and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. All right, so I have these unwrapped and I just noticed that they already have a hole in the bottom of the egg. So we just need to add a hole into the very top or the point of the egg. And that's where our wood burning tool is gonna come in handy. You wanna be super duper careful with this, but it's really, really simple. You just simply press the tip of the wood burning tool into the egg and you get a super quick and easy other hole through the plastic. All right, so let me show you that again with another egg. You just press the tip of the wood burning tool through the tip of the egg, and then you have a hole big enough for our needle to fit through. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of the eggs. And now I'm just gonna string on some wooden beads and create a pattern using my Easter eggs. And you can use different sized ones. You can use all the same. You can paint your beads and really get creative with it. You could even paint your eggs if you wanted certain color eggs and speckle them yourself. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use what I have here and make something really simple and something really springy for Easter. So here it is. I did a smaller bead, a bigger bead, and a smaller bead in between each Easter egg. And I didn't use them all. I used more of the lighter pastel colors, but it's all finished so I can hang it up and show you what it looks like. And now for the Easter Bunny garland. 
A few things from Dollar Tree include these paper lunch bags. I just did a tutorial on five different ways you can use these to decorate with. So I'll link that video down in the description box. You wanna check that out. I also have Mod Podge. This is the glossy, but I really prefer the matte. But that's all my Dollar Tree had, so I grabbed that. I also have these super cute wooden Easter bunnies. Love these guys. Scissors, a Sharpie marker, and some leftover fabric. This is like in that black and white gingham pattern, but you can use whatever fabric works for you and matches your Easter decor. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make my little hip hop banner pieces. So I need two of these paper lunch bags. And what we're gonna do to start with is we're gonna cut them on this line. I kinda go through this in that tutorial I was mentioning earlier, but we're gonna use this one for more of a spring uh, banner. And then I'm, I've just cut off both of them so they don't have the bottom of the bag. And then the tops of the bags have these uh, little punch outs on them. So I'm just gonna cut that part off too. We're gonna fold this in half. So our long folded edges meet so we have a long rectangle and then we're going to cut on the fold up to the point and we're going to cut this triangle off of the bottom just like this and that's going to give us some of our banner pieces but we still have to cut these apart yet so i'm going to open these up and we're going to cut the banner part off and we're going to cut this section out we don't want this section we're going to end up with two banner pieces per bag And now we need to punch holes into the corners of our banner pieces. So I'm just stacking them together. That way the holes will all be in the same place. And you just take a hole puncher, which is also from the Dollar Tree, and we're gonna punch through all of the bags at the corners. That way we have a space to run our string through. And now I am just gonna write hip hop, hip hop onto my bags, but you can write whatever you'd like on yours. I was thinking more of like the Ray Dunn style, so it doesn't have to be super duper perfect. Farmhouse style is not a perfect thing. So there's my hip. I'm gonna do hop and then hip hop again. And now it's time to work on the bunnies. The pack from Dollar Tree comes with five and I need five, so that's perfect. I'm gonna Mod Podge the fabric onto them. So what I need to do is I'm gonna put Mod Podge on the bunny, I'm gonna lay the fabric on top of that, and then put more Mod Podge over the fabric that will seal the fabric onto the bunny. I'm gonna let that dry completely and then I'll use either scissors or a razor blade to cut out around the bunny and that way the bunnies will all have this really cute buffalo check pattern on top of them. All right, here are all my bunnies all cut out. I have my banner pieces laid out too. And the bunnies have little holes on one of their ears. So I have my string and my needle, here it is, out so I can feed it through there and then also feed it through the back of their ear. That way it'll come through the fabric easily.
And now we're gonna make a really neutral farmhouse style Easter egg banner. So I have the Easter egg wood pieces from Dollar Tree as well as some of their burlap. This is kind of like extra that I've had, so I might as well use it up. Always hang on to all those scraps. Um, I want to give my Easter egg a speckled look. So I have my white chalk paint and some black chalk paint. This is Jute from Dollar Tree. I have foam paintbrush, uh, my needle again, and some scissors. So I want to give my eggs, like I said, a speckled look. So the first thing I need to do is just paint them all white. Now, if you want to give yours color, you absolutely can. I want mine to be more neutral, so I'm going to paint mine with one coat, one or two coats of the white chalk paint, depending on how much you want your pattern from the wood to show through. I actually kind of like it when it's just sort of peeking through the paint instead of being completely solid. And then I'm gonna use the gray chalk paint to sort of tap on some paint just like this. That way it'll splatter the paint onto the eggs and it'll, they will look speckled, which is the look that I'm going for. And then once they're dry, I will feed them onto my jute and tie some knots of burlap in between each egg. All right, so chalk paint is actually really, really thick and I wanna water it down just a little bit so it'll splatter easily. So I have a tiny bit of water in a dish and I'm gonna add some chalk paint to it so that way my paint will splatter for me. And then we're just gonna hit our paintbrush on our finger so that it splatters and speckles our eggs. All right, so I didn't wanna string these on like this because then the eggs would hang crooked instead of straight. So I'm adding them one at a time, just cutting a piece of jute. I folded the jute in half, so it made a little loop on one end. And then I just fed the loop through the hole in the egg. And then I took the tails and put them through the loop on the other side of the egg and pulled it tight. And then each individual egg, I'm gonna tie onto the string that's actually gonna hang. And then I will add the burlap strips onto the string that all the eggs are gonna hang from. Thank you all so very much for joining me for today's tutorials. Let me know down in the comments below which one of these three garlands was your favorite. If you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button next to me. You'll find more great Easter DIY tutorials in the link below that. And make sure to come find me on Facebook and on Instagram for more inspiration. Thanks so much again and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.